Hey travelers! Today I want to go over some pros and cons for the Frontier Go Wild Unlimited Pass. We have been using the pass since April with our first official flight being on April 17th. We took a trip to New York City. That was our first trip but we have used it numerous times since then and we thought it would be a good time to go over our pros and cons. So let's start with the cons. Now all these are from our experience. The first one is when you're using the go wild pass you're not accumulating any miles no matter how many flights you book or how many flights you take unfortunately you're not going to be racking up on those miles to gain those perks that you would get like elite flight status or like free flight the second one is the availability in some places now we live in orlando which is a frontier hub so when we're home it's pretty easy to find flight but in other states that don't have as much availability you may have to travel to another airport nearby or another state to ultimately get to your destination. The third one is the layovers. Now we have noticed from certain places Frontier is only allowing the Go Wild Pass to be booked for the layover option. For example from LaGuardia Airport in New York City to Orlando for a few weeks they only had the option for the layover option so you'd have to stop at either Texas or Atlanta and then go to Orlando. Orlando, which would be around 11 to 12 hour trip to get home. The fourth one is the 24 hour booking. Yes, this is one that we did know when we signed up that we only had 24 hours to book. But I do see a lot of people worried about this uh, because of the hotel or the Airbnb booking it in such a late notice or not being able to get back home on time. So I can see that that could definitely be a worry. Now I do talk about options for this in our other video if you want to check that video out the fifth and last one is for some states frontier has stopped flying daily so for instance if they were flying out seven days a week in this state they're only flying out one to two days now unfortunately if you do live in these states that could be a little hard for you or you're traveling to these states and you want to get home soon then this is something that you would have to look into maybe see if there's any other airports around that would have more availability for you like for instance Rochester has gone down to one to two days a week so that's something you definitely have to plan for now on to the pros the first one is if you were flying with Frontier prior to your go wild pass and you have some miles accumulated you will not lose those miles the miles will not expire as long as you have the go wild pass so you're able to save those miles and then and once your go wild has expired if you have not renewed it then once you start flying regularly again then you'll be able to just start stacking back up on those miles and get to elite status or get those free flights the second pro is you're able to fly wherever frontier goes for only taxes and fees so in the u.s most tickets are around 15 dollars one way and we've traveled to puerto rico a few times which is around 28 dollars one way we've noticed um, and just researching on the Caribbean, you can fly to a lot of places in the Caribbean or some places in South America. I've noticed like for instance to Jamaica, it's around 160 for the taxes and fees round trip. Another one is the international flights. Frontier goes to plenty of places in the Caribbean, like the Bahamas or Jamaica, the Virgin Islands. They also go to Mexico, Guatemala, Costa Rica. So they do have a lot of great options for international flights. And the best part is you have 10 days to book in advance. So that's amazing. You don't have to worry about being stuck in another country. You have your flight back home and you're good to go. The next one is you're able to still use your elite status. So if you were racking up on those frontier miles prior to getting the pass or you got the credit card that provides you with the miles to get elite status then you can still use your elite status with a go wild pass. So when you're booking your flight to go somewhere you still have that opportunity to pick one carry on bag or pick the seat of your choice. So that is amazing to me as well because a lot of people are concerned about 
carry-ons or seat choices. So if you have a lease status, you can still use that option. The last pro for me is the most important. With this unlimited pass, it basically pushes you to travel more and especially for the price. So for instance, if you got the pass for the year when it was only $7.99 for the whole year, that's amazing. You could travel unlimited the whole year and create amazing life experiences. I personally got the pass for all of my family and we have been able to travel and create so many great memories that it makes it worth it for me. There may be some cons and there may be some trouble for people, but creating great memories and being able to travel to other places is an experience of a lifetime. So that alone makes it worth it for me. Let us know what makes it worth it for you or what you think of the past, your pros and cons. Let us know down in the comments. I hope this helps. Please like and subscribe and safe travels everyone.